Hello guys, welcome aboard to uh, the Beaches series again. Uh, thanks for watching the videos. And today uh, we have an interesting uh, chapter. I will show you how we execute a, a VOR DME approach. Uh, that uh, we're gonna do that at the uh, Oaxaca Airport. And uh, right now we're descending uh, through Flatable 200. Uh, the the approach uh, that uh, we're gonna do uh, will start at uh, 1 2000, and uh, I'll show you up. So uh, 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 let's see what we got here, guys. Right, uh, so we are passing Quadla VOR. That's a uh, Charlie unit from Alpha VOR. We will be ready for descent, and uh, I wanna I wanna program the flight management computers before that. So uh, in order to do that, uh, I'll show you up. First of all. Um, we are expecting to do so we, we need to program this uh, the arrival okay so this is this is this is the menu the departure arrival uh, see that and uh, for Oaxaca we have two runways available so um, uh, there is a runway 01 and runway 1 nighter we are planning to do the VOR DME 1 runway one, uh, I'm sorry 01 and we will be transitioning at the Oaxaca VOR Oscar Alpha X-ray we're gonna select that, so that's the approach, that's the transition, and we're gonna execute these. That's gonna be uh, now on the legs page, uh, as you can tell, there it is, all right? So uh, we have now altitudes for the specific fixes we're gonna be crossing on the approach. See that A? That means at or above, okay. Uh, that, that, that We call these an altitude constriction. Okay, so this is the, the, the charts for Oaxaca. Uh, we have the airport diagram over there. I'm gonna go uh, to the approach and select the VOR DME 101, which is the approach we're gonna execute. Uh, so uh, we're gonna uh, uh, do a quick review for the approach. So that's the VOR DME 1 runway 01 for Oaxaca, Mexico. The airport is right, so, uh, Xochocotlan International, dated 11th of December 19, I'm sorry, 2009, 13-1, and it's effective 13 December. We're good on the, on the, on the dates. So uh, the frequencies, which uh, are already loaded, 1 to 1.1 1 .1 approach, setter, which uh, is uh, the frequency word uh, right now, and the tower will be 18.3. Good. So uh, the navigate we're going to be using is the Oaxaca VOR. The approach course is 010 northbound, and the minimum altitude, which is going to be uh, 5 miles uh, to, to start the descent, that's going to be the altitude to cross the final approach fix is 7,300 feet, about 2,300 feet above the ground. The minimum descent altitude, which is, uh, this is a non-precision approach, it's going to be 5,840 feet. That, that's uh, uh, where we're going to uh, decide either uh, we continue the approach or the code of miss, miss approach. Uh, the airport elevation is about 5,000 feet, which is uh, uh, 4,989. Good, so uh, what we're gonna make is we're gonna cross the VOR at, if you see that, uh, 12,000 feet. And uh, when we cross the VOR, we're gonna go on the album radio 161, eight miles, do a teardrop right turn to intercept the final approach course of the zero. Remember that, that course, final approach course, zero one zero uh, to the VOR. The VOR is not located at the airport, so we're gonna, we're gonna cross the VOR and continue down uh, that down actually the miss approach point is one mile before uh, crossing the VOR so uh, we're gonna go two miles for further from the miss approach point uh, to the runway so this is the approach we're gonna be doing so uh, uh, see the see those altitudes we're gonna start at 12,000 descent of uh, 9,000 8,200 turning inbound 7,300 to the final approach fix and descent to the MDA which is uh, we're gonna see that here uh, 5,000 840 feet uh, doing a straight line. If we should have to uh, uh, circle to land to runway uh, 19, we cannot that do east of runway. See those, uh, uh, those, those th that hill area. We have uh, uh, elevations about uh, 7,300 feet, so we don't want to uh, circle to land east of the airport. So we're gonna do that west if we need to do that. Uh, we're not gonna do that because uh, we're landing runway zero 01, okay? So that is that is the approach we're gonna do. Uh, if we need to go means uh, that's gonna be climbing on the outbound radial, uh, 360 from Oaxaca VR, five miles, which is that point. Okay, case of uh, DME failure, 6,800. Left turn, 
more than seven nautical miles, okay? Because uh, maybe we have uh, some terrain uh, up here uh, to the Oaxaca VR and intercept that uh, rate of 180 uh, inbound. Uh, and uh, that'll be it. Uh, proceed on the reverse approach track to the minimum holding altitude, alright? So that's gonna be there. Perfect. So uh, the approach is brief, we know what we're gonna do, okay? So we are now 10 miles from the VOR and uh, reducing, actually we are now set up for uh, 200 knots which is uh, the airspeed we need to catch up about 10 miles, we are uh, about 16, I'm sorry, 8 miles from the VOR and uh, we are set up for 200 knots. As we come up to the VOR, as you can see here, we're gonna go outbound on uh, the 161 radial about 8 miles uh, from the VOR and we will be descending from 1 2000 which is the altitude we're now descending uh, all the way down to 9000 feet 8 miles so that's uh, that's uh, that's gonna be the next segment after crossing over the VOR uh, so uh, as we come up to the VOR <laughs> we're gonna start reducing airspeed to 160 knots which is the best airspeed uh, on, on all on, on most of the aircraft uh, the, be the best airspeed uh, to uh, start the approach all right all right so we are now st uh, almost at the BOR we are one mile from the BOR uh, the aircraft is overflying the BOR that means that uh, is is making an early turn in order to uh, establish on uh, on that uh, uh, on that album radial we're setting up 9,000 feet which is the uh, next altitude, all right? And we are uh, reducing airspeed to 160 knots uh, that, that uh, we're gonna maintain that uh, on the whole approach, all right? So we're coming off on the 161 radial, eight miles of Hi, this is Romero for you, report seven miles from final to zero. Okay, let's see now, seven miles from final zero one, six hundred kilo, thank you. And uh, as you can notice, uh, the glide pad is, uh, is, uh, is being followed by the autopilot so the, that is a glide pad that uh, is controlled by the FMS. So uh, that is programmed uh, with the approach. So that that's very good because uh, uh, the whole system uh, gives you a vertical navigation. Okay, so we're maintaining uh, 160 knots at descending to 8,200 and turning inbound the VOR uh, to intercept the final segment uh, for the approach. And uh, as uh, as we um, as we turn uh, turn uh, inbound. We're gonna start uh, reducing airspeed uh, to the VREF about uh, plus 20, all right? So uh, what you're hearing is uh, uh, the landing, uh, the landing gear warning. It will, it will, uh, it will sound uh, whenever uh, the landing gear is not down and the throttles are are, are, are taking all the way back, all right? So. Uh, uh, right now we are about uh, 9 miles uh, to the airport, 5 to the final approach fix, and uh, we can start and, uh, and, and lower 10 degrees of flaps, please for that. Okay, 10. So uh, fla approach. flaps standing okay. are set, and uh, we're maintaining 160. <coughs> And uh, next altitude, we're gonna go all the way to 7300, it's set up. Airspeed looks good. We're intercepting the final approach course. VREF uh, airspeed today is set up for uh, 115 knots. And that's that's the one we're gonna maintain. We have uh, the runway inside that is uh, ahead. Alright, so uh, we are on the final approach uh, segment, uh, three miles off the runway, and uh, uh, we have landing gear down, we're coming up about 1400 feet above the ground, and uh, right now uh, the, we are on the MTA, and uh, autopilot is off, we are setting up airspeed uh, VREF plus 20. Okay, and uh, 20 Flap. degrees 1, of flaps here, landing gear looks good, three greens there, and uh, we're continuing visual. We have minim landing minimums, 
there is a runway, I will continue the approach. Five hundred. Okay, we'll go with flaps thirty. Full flaps. Full flaps. Very good. We ran plus twenty. Excellent. Four hundred. Runway is clear, and we are going to land 300. Altimetro 3, pero decimal 1, 3, temperatura 26 grados, tercera la autorita, de México vía Oaxaca, Julieta 3, este que sí tengo, Julieta 21 México, México 3 alfa, vuelo 3, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, Speed breaks up and uh, breaks. We're coming to 60, 60 knots. And reversers are off. November 4, 3, 6. We just landed to Oaxaca, and uh, that's how we do a uh, uh, VORDM approach on the beach uh, with the Collins FMS with the uh, vertical navigation. So, uh, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, I appreciate your comments down below. And uh, follow, follow the links uh, for subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you next time on the Beach It Series.